All right, we were just taking a break and we covered a lot of things. Joanna's from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I'm from Arkansas. She shot a movie in Arkansas near mm -hmm. where I live. She's visited Eureka Springs, which is there, and there's a place there that's haunted. So now we're talking about ghosts. So now we're talking about ghosts. What's yeah. your ghost experience? <laughs> oh gosh, I just had I had one where like I was we actually okay, so I had one where I was cooking dinner for me and my roommate mm -hmm. and then um uh, we went to bed and then his side and I'm my side. And then all of a sudden, this was like, like recently. This is like about a year ago. Oh my god! And I and then all of a sudden, all of our alarms went off. And he was like, "Joe, you left the gas on," like and it was like on full blast. He's like, "You somehow left the gas on, and now like there's a gas leak." And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. How would I? How do I leave the right. stove on?" Right. And I just was like, "I'm, I, I'm, oh my god, I'm so sorry." And then the next day, I went to go visit my sister in Portland, and he calls me and he's like, "I had to leave the apartment." Because at the same exact time, the alarms went off again, and I went, and the stove was blaring again on full heat, <sighs> just, like, blasting. And also, this is kind of dark, but I had a very good friend of mine, who was my roommate at the time, pass away. Oh, my gosh. Before. And so, uh, part Wait, of... Wait, she was your... The person she was, was your roommate She was my roommate, yeah. Away? Yeah, and then Holy, she... Oh, my God. It was crazy. And I love her. She, her name is Grace, and she's fantastic, and I love her. Um, but I was kind of like... If this is her telling me something, maybe do it in a less terrifying way. <laughs> oh my god! Because I do believe in ghosts, and I do believe I in do like too. science and experiences. So that's the most recent one. But what about yours? What have you oh had? my gosh! I yeah. was babysitting. Oh god! Are you god. afraid to be there in your home? No, it was only the, that those two times. Well, there's that, that and then sometimes I have this thing where, like, if I'm napping, I wake up paralyzed. Oh, sleep paralysis. Yeah, Sean sleep paralysis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I feel presence in the room yeah. and I can feel and I like once I remember and I felt like a weight of like a man like get like sit on my bed. Oh. And I could feel like a t shirt collar, like a ring of and then I like forced myself to wake up and I just was screaming. <sighs> So no, I'm not afraid of my apartment. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you and Sean can talk about that. He has that about sleep paralysis. It's like a real thing. Fun, yeah, can you send it to me or like the I want to? I want to watch this Ooh. and then never sleep again. And then so. never sleep. It's again. really. But the scariest part is not being able to like control the waking up part. Yeah, yeah. you are awake, but yeah, but you can't do anything. Is it, it? Is it? Does it? Do they say it's because your body like is still in sleep? Yeah. Oh. mode but your brain wakes up first right. that's so weird Oof, yeah Oof, i'm so sorry about that oh for yeah both of you. It's that's terrifying creepy as anything yeah i'm sure it sounds mm -hmm. like it best is when you wake up screaming <laughs> the best is when you the wake best up is when you wake up screaming and you're like what it's really fun when you wake up screaming oh so much oh, fun. that's terrifying so wait so you were babysitting i was i was just babysitting and i think one of the houses i babysit at or you used to i don't as much anymore mm. is haunted Mainly, I had a few different things happen. One time I was using the mom's computer and, like, the cursor was going bananas and I couldn't, like, like hold Could, it. Yeah. And I talked to whatever and I was like, please stop, I'm trying to do this, and it would stop. And then, in, like, a few minutes later it would start again and it would be like, please stop, I need to use the computer, and it would stop. Um, and it was, like, very cold where I was, oh. but, like, not elsewhere. But the other time, the, the horrible time, not horrible, but, like, the main time, I put the kid to bed and... In the same house, the same, mm -hmm. yeah. I hope, I hope this mom isn't watching. <laughs> um, I put the little girl to bed, and as little kids often do, she was, like, talking to herself and, like, crying and whatever, and I realized after, like, I, I heard her singing, and at the time she was only, like, two or three, and she wasn't really speaking yet... And I thought that was weird, and then I, so I, like, tried to listen in a little more, and I realized there were two voices. Yeah. Oh, my God, that was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See Bye. Yeah. What? So there was, like, and when she would stop crying, the singing would stop. But then she'd start crying again, and the singing would start again. So it was, like, a little, a little, and it was, like, the sound of a little girl's voice. So I think there's a little girl ghost in there that's, like, friends with the baby <laughs> oh well that at least is it's nice trying it's to sweet. help like, yeah i feel like when it. i i feel like i like walked up to the door and like the little kid's um room is like on the front of the house and the sound was coming from like outside the house yeah. does that make sense it like yeah. wasn't in the room yeah, yeah yeah like where someone couldn't actually be that's crazy it was a little creepy but again like when that happened i was like huh okay, I wasn't, like, freaked out like you think you would be. Yeah. You're just like, oh, interesting. I don't know. But that's, that's my most ghostly That's crazy. Experience. Yeah. There's, I, okay, so apparently they said that um, Hawaii and England are some of the most haunted places. Oh, really? The, yeah, which I was like, oh, that's good. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, and my house back home, we would always hear footsteps in this one hallway, and I was like, it must be the wind or something. And once I remember... 
I walked, because it was kind of like our study area, so I was in my room and I walked into it, and as soon as I hit the floor, our TV turned to static, and our music box started playing, but our music box was shut and has been broken for years. <gasps> and so I ran, oh, like I've never la- ran before, like out of the house. I called oh. my mom, I was like, oh, when I was like 17, I was like, I can't. <gasps> but the music box that had, it was closed and it had a laptop sitting on top of it, it just started slowly like playing. That's, and I was like, that's terrifying. I was like, this is, this is, this is, this is oh, wrong. This is God. wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like, I want to hear all the ghost stories, and then at night I won't be able to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ooh, it's but there is, interesting. And then there is like, something oh. totally, like, fascinating about. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it's fairly fascinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. let mm-hmm. us play a game. Okay. That we always play here on Craft Stations. It's called... You. Hanky panky, marry, or kindly push aside. <laughs> I was thinking we could do Jane Austen men. Okay, yes, that, absolutely. That, right? that sounds fantastic. So if we do Mr. Darcy, mm-hmm. Mr. Knightley, mm-hmm. uh, or I'm trying to think. who's your... I don't know too, too Colonel, many. Colonel Brandon? I don't know that. Have you never seen Sense and Sensibility? I'm really bad. <laughs> Anna, I'm giving you homework. You I have a lot. You need to go watch Sense and Sensibility. I, trust me, I... With... Yeah, I'm really bad at... It's almost like... I almost want to admit, like, how bad I am with, like, <laughs> certain things. It's okay. Um, but I, I know Darcy. I know Knightley. Um, you should watch it because it's amazing. It's oh, yeah. my favorite movies. Alan Rickman is... Is that the one with um, Emma Thompson? Yes. And yeah. she wrote it, and it's... So good. And Ang Lee directed it, and it's beautiful. Oh, Ang Lee. Like and uh, Alan Rickman is so good. Aww. So, so good. Alan Rickman. I know. I just love him so much. Mm. Um, okay, who else? Do you know any other? Mm, Let's see. Um, who else could we do? I know, like, besides those Wickham, two. <laughs> uh, which is pretty obvious. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, Ms. See. Bingley? Bingley's cute. Yeah. So, uh, Darcy, Knightley, or Bingley? Yeah. Well, I guess, I, okay, so... If I'm so, it's um, hanky panky. Yes, Mary. Mary. Yes. Okay. Or well, I push aside. <laughs> hmm. I I feel like I should say Mary Knightley. Yeah. Would you really though? Mm. Well, definitely. Okay, so I'll say hanky panky. Uh, what did you say, Bingley or or yeah? Well, well, like the yeah. t- like the more traditional version. Let's yeah. Say, uh, like sure. That. I'll say hanky panky him. Yeah. Um, because I think I want to say Mary Darcy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. marry Darcy. And kindly push... Oh, God. Are you that, pushing Knightley oh aside? My no, my God. That sounds like I'm pushing Knightley aside. <laughs> well, I just, I feel like, I feel like me as Joanna, like, dating Mr. Knightley. Uh-huh. Oh, this guy actually, this is getting into some territory. Mm. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I might be too neurotic for Mr. Knightley. Interesting. Um, and too energetic. No, no you're really thinking about it. Yeah. That's, that's a fair. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I think yeah. I'm going to marry Darcy because I feel like, I don't know. I just, I feel like that would be well, very compatible and very romantic. Not that they're all great choices. But like, who wouldn't marry Darcy? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, no one can really fault you for doing that, right? No. Okay. No, he's... He's the top. What is? Um, what would you say? Yeah, definitely marry Darcy for sure, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, see, that one's kind of, yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's honestly... Because Knightley's, I mean, he's he's so romantic and so sweet, but, yeah. and I love the line, like, if I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more, mm-hmm. but as you can see, I'm such a talker that mm. I need you to talk about it all the time. Sure, yeah. So. Yeah, I might do the same, actually. I mm-hmm. might hanky panky bingley. I mm. love... I love the Bingley in the 2005 version with Kira Knightley. He's oh so yeah, cute. Yes, and he and Jane are so cute together. I see. It's, it's a tough. It's a tough call between them all. It's tough. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's probably what I would do. It's also yes. been a very long time since I saw the Gwyneth Paltrow Emma or any other like. Um, oh, I didn't like that Knightley. You don't like that Knightley. Mm-mm, Who is no. it? Jeremy. Um, or yeah, I, I cannot remember his name, but I, I he was not he wasn't my favorite nightly. Who's your favorite nightly? Do you have one? Um, I'll say I can say Britt Bailey. Yeah, you can <laughs> yeah. say Britt Bailey. Uh, he's a great one. Also, I mean, this is such a cop up, but I'm just such a huge Paul Rudd fan, and I know. Oh, sure. Yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna say Paul Rudd and Clueless. I wasn't even thinking Clueless. Oh yeah, that's that was like my first. Yeah, that serious makes sense. crush was Paul Rudd and Clueless. Yeah, he's cute. He is so cute and so sweet and so just. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Paul Rudd. Me too. Yeah, good answers. Thanks. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's answer some questions. Oh, yes. Even though we've mostly finished our craft. <laughs> Sushi or poke? Is that how you say it? Yeah, uh, poke. 
I've sure. never had it. Either? No, you've had sushi before. I've had sushi. I love sushi. Yeah. I don't know that, because I can't do soy sauce. Isn't, doesn't poke, isn't it like a soup kind of thing? Or no, no, no. So poke okay, is like I'm really so popular. No, no, no. This is good. <laughs> I love talking about food in Hawaii. Oh, great. And things that I like. Is it a Hawaiian thing? It's, it's, well, it's really big in Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's basically like a rice bowl that you fill with any sort of, it's like a big sushi bowl. Like, you know, if okay. you go to Chipotle. Okay. Yeah. This is, and you ask for like a burrito. Yeah. But you ask for them to put it in a bowl. Yeah. That's what, that's, <laughs> that's what, what I do. Is. Oh, that's yeah. great. I want it's that. It's a giant sushi bowl. Oh. And you can put like different fish in there and sometimes oh. edamame and like seaweed salad, like whatever you want. Oh. And then it's just like, you just eat it. I don't know why I was so confused about what No, it was. it's so that good. That sounds great. Sushi's fantastic, but poke is like my, like, my, what's it called, comfort food. You love that. Oh, Where yeah. do you like to get it here? Um, there's is this there place, a place? place called um, Sweet Fin Poke, which is okay. Okay. Uh, but I seem to get it from there all the time. Okay. We, I love sushi. We will. <gasps> do you? I love sushi, too. <sighs> so much. Any excuse we have to go to Sugarfish, we will take it. Yes. Do you get the Nozawas or the Trust Me's? Or... Yes. It's so good. Anytime we have anything to celebrate, like, mildly, we're like, Sugarfish. Sugar yeah, sugar <laughs> oh, my gosh. So expensive. I think I mod so my stencil to my <laughs> no I know it's kind of sticking Ooh, that's okay. but I'm happy with how it's looking oh my <laughs> oh yeah it's awesome mine's like look mom I love it <laughs> oh I love it that looks so good I'm Thank gonna extend you. my yeah your branch see you did it right where you were very bit. controlled with it I was like talking and like, <laughs> I think I still think it looks good thank you I might I like turn it. I might I'm gonna work with this I'm gonna yeah. make it Maybe yeah. I'll make it a hummingbird. I'm going to do... Oh, there you go. I Let's like that. extend the beak out. That's a good idea. So a lot of people are, like, asking about how Lydia and Emma would get along. Oh, yeah. If they would get along and if they would be friends. That's interesting. I... I, Lydia is very open to anyone, so. I think it also depends on <laughs> when they're meeting. Emma Chris. Yeah, I think it might depend on when they're meeting. If they're meeting, like... Emma in the beginning. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. Like she, she, then maybe not. Maybe not. I feel like she might be too bossy for Lydia. Uh, yeah, that's true. Lydia does not like being told what to do. Exactly, yeah, and, and Emma likes telling people. Yes, for sure. Yeah, Emma. so maybe not in the beginning, but I can imagine. Maybe by the end when they've both learned and grown as people. Exactly, then I can totally see it. Yeah, me but too. But in the beginning, I think that would be very funny to watch. Yeah, that's probably true. They're mm -hmm. definitely t two big personalities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are your Hogwarts houses? Where do you think... Oh. Lydia and Emma would be. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. So you like Harry Potter? I love yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> what is your What is your house? I'm a Gryffindor. Me too. You are? Yes. We're both Gryffindors. I love it. Oh my god, that's Yay. amazing. That is amazing. What? Okay. Hmm. So what do you think Emma would be? Slytherin for sure. Hardcore. That's what I was gonna say. A hundred percent. That's what I was gonna say. Um, mm. Lydia. We actually debated this a lot during LBB. Oh, uh, did you really? Yeah. We often put Lydia in Gryffindor. Okay, I can um, see that. Which is standby, but I also think she's got a fair amount of Hufflepuff. <gasps> oh, I can see that. I can see that. I was going to say Gryffindor, but I can see Hufflepuff. Yeah, which I do too, actually. Have you? A fair amount of Hufflepuff. That's awesome. Have you been to the Harry Potter world here yet? Yeah. <gasps> Have you? Yes. Yes, it's so great. Because we went to one, when we first hung out, we went to one at GeekyCon. Yeah, in, in Orlando. In Orlando. <gasps> that was your first time there? Was it then? Yeah, I okay. think that was the first time. Was that year? We were both so yeah, emotional. Yeah, it was two years ago. I know. I just like cried. Me too. <laughs> like, I did too. Ah! I mean, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> That's it's amazing. So amazing. Do you think it's because, like, for me, I grew up with the books. Like, I was like oh, close yeah, to his sure. age when the books were coming sure, out. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, I just same. like, did you cry when the, when you read the last book? Oh my gosh, I cried so much. It's just it's... I like couldn't put it down, and mm -hmm. like now I know there are people that are like super into Harry Potter, and I. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings is my number one for sure. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. But nice. going to Wizarding World for the first time, I just was like, <gasps> I just was like, yeah. it's so magical. Do you know what I think it is too, though? I think it's the attention to detail there. That is because one hundred everything. It's yes. like they they pay attention to every little. And that's why the movies it's were so amazing. good. That's true. It's they, so true. Mm -hmm. And like you just like go around a corner and there's more. It's just incredible. It was and the so way good. everyone talks to you. Oh like, my gosh! Yeah. And when you go in between and, like, the muggle train guys oh, are uh, like, where are you going? Yeah. What? They don't know what Hogsmeade is. It's so cute. I remember the first time I was like, I don't get it. Do they not work here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. How lovely. It's so fun. That's... Yeah. And I we've been once. We're actually going on Thursday again oh, to Wizarding World. Hopefully it won't be too, too crazy. Do you guys dress up when you go to? Or... I didn't last time. Maybe I should this time. I think I made mine a parrot. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. That I'm looks gonna so good. I I'm love gonna keep, it. I'm, I'm gonna actually keep going like pretty happy with how this is turning this out. This is so I was not cute. Not quite sure. That is so how cute. It's gonna be, but I'm cool with it. What's one thing you've learned from the character you play? What's Ooh. one thing your character can learn from you? Oh, that's oh. a good one. Do you know? I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> it's always I know it's a it's a hard one to answer off the top of your head. I definitely, definitely learned to be more self confident mm. from that girl. I think just doing the whole Emma approved and like having so many people see it and comment on it, like I just learned to make a choice and stand by it mm-hmm. and be confident in that. And also, mm. it just I don't know. It was just it was a very um, uplifting confident making experience yeah I, I would agree with that actually yeah. I think I gained a lot of confidence from LBD right yeah. yeah um I had never like thought of myself as a funny person at all and everybody really like, yeah you're and, terrible um, oh, thank you and everybody's like this girl's so funny and I was like I am oh cool yeah um but in terms of like Lydia herself she really I mean in much the way that that's what the show is about for her like I am totally or was totally a person to very much stereotype that type of girl ah, and like uh, uh uh-huh roll my eyes at that um because I'm not much of a partier and whatever and and I would sort of like judge that I guess so it made me a little less judgy in that way oh, about nice. about hopefully everyone in general but that that sort of personality specifically mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is good that's awesome yeah hmm what could Lydia learn from me oh yeah oh yeah I think uh I don't know because it's hard because for the end I was like actually we're a lot the same me and mm-hmm. Emma mm-hmm. um which I think I think she could learn to not take things so seriously yeah uh and to realize that like her way is not always the right way mm-hmm. because I definitely like to learn from people and I like to learn from my mistakes and I like to listen as much as I can um which I think she struggles with a lot mm-hmm. um yeah and knowing that your perspective is not always the right one mm-hmm. it's just your perspective mm-hmm. so I think she can learn that yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's something, I don't know, that's a hard thing. Mm-hmm. Actually, on a totally superficial note, mm. uh, fashion. Yeah? Like, I, like, the like our Emma and our show, like, helped me branch out to wear so many things I yeah? never would have worn before. That's so yeah. cool. I, and it, that, so that was really fun, because now I find myself, like, I don't know, looking for more out there fashion choices. That's so funny. So I definitely learned that from her, yeah. Yeah, I don't dress like Lydia at all. <laughs> I dress far more like Jane. You do. Yeah. You do. I'm, That's awesome. I think of the Bennett sisters, I am most like Jane mm. myself. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Jane's awesome. Yeah, she's great. It, even even the bad, the not bad, but you know the more faulted things about her personality. I I have those. Yeah. Well, humans. I don't stand up for myself and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting. But I'm trying to get better. Aww. Oh. New Mary Kate. <laughs> oh, someone said, I'd love to hear about how you got to L.A. Um, yeah, how did you make it to L.A.? Um, well, I wanted to be an actress when I was a kid because I was in seventh grade and I was starting a new school and I was terrified and I was very, very quiet. Mm. And so my dad signed me up for theater. Because really? he was like, hey, now you have to have friends <laughs> because you have to do plays and they have to hang out with you. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. And then I fell in love with acting and theater. And then I, uh, then he signed me up for Shakespeare. Uh-huh. And I got second in the state for a Shakespeare Whoa, competition in Hawaii. Yeah, That's impressive. I was really fun my junior year. And then I did Shakespeare festivals in Hawaii. And I was like, I want to be... An actress like this is I want to do theater and then so I went to Loyola Marymount for theater oh I didn't realize that yeah okay yeah cool. and then uh I had a professor there who was amazing uh who was like you should get to film and television mm-hmm. so I signed with his agents and then oh, wow. it, and then I booked the first thing I booked was that horror film in That's so crazy in Madison County Arkansas in Arkansas right where you're at That's yeah so bananas mm-hmm. most people are they're like where are you from and I'm like Arkansas and they're like ah okay no I know so I actually were, loved like, it your eyes lit up I was like yeah oh. I loved it was so much fun and oh. the the horror film, uh, it's actually great. That's I, it's, awesome. It's What's good. it called? Madison County. Because we shot in Madison County, Arkansas. That's it's a awesome. bunch of kids. I think you said that and I forgot. No, it's all good. And they, they like go to, you know, I think it's a good idea to split up after someone gets murdered and go investigate themselves. You would think at this point people in horror movies would have learned. You would think, but no. But no. <laughs> what brought you to L.A.? Yeah. Well, USC. I always, mm-hmm. but I always like knew that L.A. was my place. I yeah. I had the like burning desire in my heart to just come to LA and I did like when I stepped off the plane for the first time I was just like this is it I'm home do you say with your bags you're just yes like, it was yeah. great. <laughs> and I've never not felt like this is not my home Same which here. is nice I feel Same very here. lucky I know that not everybody gets that feeling in life of like 
I have friends that like don't know where they don't feel at home anywhere. Yeah. And so I'm really feel thankful that I feel that here. It's nice when it clicks in, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like LA gets a really bad rap sometimes just for yes. being like superficial and especially yes. in this industry. Yes. But if you find a good community and also like a place that you love, yeah, it, yeah, you just kind of like snuggle in. I know. I feel like there's so much good here and mm. there is, there is for sure a lot of bad as well, but it's also like, it's what you make of it. Exactly. And that's just in life too. You have to learn to avoid those situations and be smart about yeah. them. Any and place you go. go towards the good. Yeah. Any place you go. It's true. Yay. We did it. Yeah. We found our places. Yay. Yay. <laughs> well, let's see what you made. Oh, yeah, so I made an um, American Bald Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, it looks so nice. I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. This is super cute. This is this, a cute craft. Yeah, these books did not die in vain. No, they didn't. Mm -mm. And they'll be viewed forever on my wall. Yeah, me Is too. there anything else you wanted to plug or talk about before we sign off? Um, No, I wish I could talk about I'm I'm doing two really exciting projects, but I'm not That's allowed so to talk cool. about them yet. Yeah. But um, how it goes. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to post about them within the next... Uh, a couple weeks, which Yay. is really exciting. But uh, so keep keep yeah. on keeping on. Make sure you're following Joanna so you yeah. can be up to date on all of her things. Yeah, it's just Joanna Sotomora on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I think Snapchat now I'm trying to do. Oh, God. God, I, I couldn't it. figure it out. I still can't. I didn't realize that when you took a picture in the beginning, it does, it shoots a picture of your face. And so I'm in my pajamas with my glasses being like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Because I didn't realize it was like, all right. Let's. That's what I was like too afraid to touch anything. I was like, I'm going to take a picture of something I don't want to. Yeah. Cool. I'm very with social media. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being here and oh crafting with me. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. Yay. Get and it. until next time, Bye, guys. stay crafty. <laughs> Who would miss the rich joys and successes of time? Friendships, blissful bonds, strangers' kind words. Home's supportive comforts, serendipity's gifts. The joys of true love and of our offspring living. Society's helping hand, giving's own reward. And the praises it receives from those it's touched. Oh, the felicity and triumphs of a wonderful life. And fair ones, be of all our magic moments a connoisseur. Thanks to Warren Day for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video, check out my Patreon page.